All right, what's going on guys? Willis here. We're back with another Division 2 video. So I hope you guys have an awesome day. We're going to be taking a look at the map size for Warlords of New York in this video. We're going to be looking at the sizes, comparing them to the maps in the Division 2, Division 1, all that good stuff. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like to support uh, the video and if you're new to the channel consider subscribing i pretty much post daily looter shooter videos so destiny borderlands all that good stuff but yeah big massive shout out to the division reddit this is where i actually saw it so if you're not aware the warlords of new york is going to be in new york surprise surprise uh we're no longer in washington so obviously um a cool thing is not many people know is the map uh for warlords of new york is actually to a one-to-one -one scale so it's pretty much identical uh as it would be in real life and the people over on reddit have actually basically like i guess calculated how big the map's going to be and here it is so in the top left we have the current division two map i'm pretty sure this is a one-to-one -one scale of washington correct me if i'm wrong uh, below that we have the warlords of new york map uh, to the right of that we have the division one map which isn't actually it to a one-to-one -one scale so if you actually compare the sizes here which i'm going to put up another image on screen uh, we have the division one map which is in the top the very uh, north sort of midtown manhattan and then the bottom we have the division two uh, sort of lower brooklyn uh, area now you're probably thinking oh the division one map looks way way bigger but this is the actual i guess google map image so the division one map obviously wasn't to a one-to-one -one scale because it makes the division two warlords dlc map look tiny so i'm assuming it was just a tiny bit smaller probably half the size you're seeing right here and then the very bottom is obviously to a one-to-one -one scale of brooklyn there so yeah if we compare it again with the division 2 map you can see it's pretty much i would say probably like a quarter the size so you could probably fit four of them in the division 2 map bear in mind there is no dark zone uh on the warlords of new york map unfortunately but other than that it's a pretty chunky area and obviously it's not going to be the same size as the division 2 map currently that would just be absurd to think that massive were hiding this massive huge map that they've been making so like i said it's a decent size for what we're getting but yeah, let me know what you guys think of the size of this map. Do you think it's too big, too small? Is it the perfect size? I mean, if we're getting a lot of these, I guess, big, massive, like, expansions, I'm assuming we're going to be getting more maps, which would be awesome. And eventually, who knows, we might even connect back to the Division 1 map on a 1-to-1 -one -one scale. Now, that would be pretty awesome. But yeah, it was just a quick video for you guys today to show you the map sizes and stuff like that. Trying to keep you guys uh, updated and stuff like that with Warlords of New York up until the launch. Uh, once again, if you don't want to miss any videos, be sure to turn that little bell notification on so you're notified every time I upload a video. And if you're just jumping into Division, you've just bought it for like $3.00. Um, I also run a Discord channel, discord.gg slash Willis. So if you're looking to form a group, got an awesome looter shooter community over there uh, with like 30,000 members. So it's really easy to find a group if you're looking for people to play with on PS4, PC and Xbox. But I'll leave all that in the video description. You guys have an awesome day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.